Hey everybody, Jo here again. How are you doing? I hope this video finds you well. Thanks for popping in. Today I'm going to share something a little bit different with you and it's this. It's a Halloween jar. Now obviously that's just the top so you can see I've got a nice spider there. But if you look, now it's not easy to see. Maybe I'll just not my move my light away. We've got fairy lights inside the jar and I've got some nice Halloween stamping around the side and I just think these are so lovely to make so I'm going to show you how I created this and the idea is that at the extravaganza I'm going to have this on my table I thought it would look lovely now this is Halloween but I must just show you I've created a similar one for Christmas I enjoyed it so much I wanted to create a similar design for Christmas look. So I've used my Christmas stamps. I've got one of the lodges look. I've got nice snow. And the beauty of these look is that inside I've got my on off switch. So I can just pop the lid back on. So what I'll do is I'll switch the lights off in this one. that lovely spider's web put the lid back on and I'll show I'll bring my light back in <laughs> and I'll show you how I created it I say it's just a fun project that I thought was lovely and it's just recycling an old jam jar you could use a bottle anything so what I've done just so um, a few little things to start off with. I've just added some white paint and water to my jam jar. And what I did was I got a piece of kitchen roll, scrunched it up and just dabbed it so it gave it a bit of a mottled effect. And then I've added a little bit of green paint around the bottom and that can be drying, you see. And also on the lid, what I tend to do, now these lights I bought online and they were very inexpensive and I think in about there was about 10 in the box um, but they're for bottles so obviously they have a cork and they have an on off switch look so all I've done is attach that to the middle of my the lid of my jam jar so that then I can pop the lights inside and as I say turn the lid so I do that beforehand and I use my pin flare glue gel. Now it does take overnight to dry, but I find that the mo the best for me it holds it in place. And also I've just added some decoration, some moss on top and some of this lovely spider's web ready and the spider. Again, you could decorate the top with whatever you, you wanted. So that's ready when I've decorated my jar to pop inside. Now, when it comes to the stamping, what I suggest you do is stamp on tissue paper. So you just want normal white tissue paper. Now, you can buy this as gift wrap or you can sometimes in those nice shops where you get expensive blouses, they wrap your blouses up well, I believe, in tissue. Now, you stamp on the tissue, but make sure you have got some paper underneath. Because if I show you, use a permanent ink as well. So I'm using my Versafine. And I'll just stamp the cauldron for you. Now, obviously, the ink will go through. So do make sure that you've, look, that you've got copy paper underneath. And all you do is stamp. Now, you could use different colours ink if you want. I've just gone for the black, the Nocturne. I would stamp the images and just give them sort of 10 minutes to dry. So this is one of those projects where for me, I glued my lid and my lights last night. So they're nice and dry. And about 20 minutes ago, I added the paint onto my jar. So basically, while that's drying, I could do my stamping. And then I would leave my stamping to dry. So I'll put that to one side. And what I would then do is, on my finished one, if I show you, just here where you almost the top of the jar, I just wanted to add a little bit more detail. So I've gone for just some string. And for me, again, the way I would do that is just get some of this pin flare glue gel. 
and again I would just I only want a little bit at the top um just because it it just almost hides this area and I just maybe sort of four places if I just add a little bit again with this pokey tool I've got and then all I do is literally thread it round and twist now again you could use if you've got a specific twine you wanted to use and um, for Christmas you could use ribbon I just like I don't know there's just something about string that I like but I know some people aren't a fan of string so again you could use like I say a decorative ribbon I mean, you could just paint to the top if you wanted. I just wanted something almost to finish it off at the top. And I just find if I just pat it down, look, that nicely. And then what I would do is cut that. And just make sure I've got a little bit of pin flare just on there tuck that under there we go I'm just going to push my pin flare up so it doesn't dry out and I just think that makes I mean I've got to be honest I think these would be lovely with um obviously different designs on them but they'd make they look lovely on the table for parties or maybe weddings now what you do when you've got your images stamped just need to check you can see so I've got some images here stamped the best way to cut them out is to actually tear around them it's just more forgiving and your edges will almost disappear better now you can use a paintbrush and wet the area and the tissue will tear better but I've got to be honest I just like to go for it and live dangerously and tear. Now again you can add some colour. I've used gel pen. Um, if you're going to use pencil I would suggest using a pencil like a polychromo. I wouldn't use the ink tents because they will move with water. So just tear around the images like that, as I say, nothing too difficult. And then we're going to attach them to the jar. So for this, there's lots of different products on the market. You may have, um, a, there's a Slap It On product, any um, glue and glaze, a Mod Podge. I've gone for the Distress Collage Medium um, by Ranger. And this is the matte one. She says, uh, I couldn't get the lid off then. So I'm just going to pop that there. And again, I've just got a nice paintbrush. Now, my suggestion is we'll put the lodge on first. Take a little bit of your matte medium, just pop it on the jar. Then I'm just going to take my lodge and put that on. And once I put it on, try not to touch it with your fingers again. The tissue is quite delicate, and especially when it gets wet with the glue and the glaze, um, if you use your fingers, it might tear. So my suggestion is use your brush to actually attach and shape and almost brush outwards. Do the strokes outwards. Don't overwork it. Now, as I say, this is a glue and a glaze, so it will glue that in shape and also it will glaze on top. So next to uh, the lodge, I'm thinking, let's have the cauldron. So again, we'll pop the cauldron down and just... Now, you see, that's just moved slightly, but I don't want to use my hand. It may have to just be at an angle. That's Halloween, isn't it? Now, I have added a little bit of glitter around these. Now, I know, let's have flying towards that cauldron. What I think will look nice is if we have one of our dragons look. So, again, now you will take longer with this. Just take your time. Brush outwards. A little bit like, you know, when you're doing wallpaper and you brush outwards. 
whoops sorry I think the brush just hit me now let's go around let's have turn that one that way then we can have that dragon flying towards the lodge just a little bit more you don't need a lot of this get the edges and then I think we've got a little space here for this spider there we go now again I'm just going to put my brush in water and put the lid on it's important to put the lid on and then just wipe my hand so as I say that just needs to dry now And as I say, that is a glue and a glaze. So if you have a look, when it dries and the edges, because we've teared around the edges, it helps them to almost disappear into the white. But also, if you wanted, when it's dry, on my finished one, if I bring it back in, I've added some Posca dots and a little bit more gel pen, just for extra sparkle. On my Christmas one, I actually sprayed the whole design with um, a protection, a spray and sparkle. And that just gave it an even better sheen. And also it gives it that extra, you know, I'm like belt and braces. So it means you can handle it and you don't have to worry. But let's just try, let's just put this in here, switch that on. I don't want to touch that too much, but if I very carefully, so there we go, that's this one finished. And if I just move that light away, I'm hoping you can see the lights inside. So when that's dry, I'll just add some lovely little orbs, some extra orbs. And, and that's it really. So that didn't take long, did it? So that's that one i'm going to have to stand that one up i don't want to lay it flat because obviously the tissue is wet i don't want to tear it so i'll bring in let's pop the lights on again there's willow the witch she's going to roll isn't she let's put a little little pumpkin there to hold her and let's switch the lights on inside the Christmas one. And I can't wait to have these all lined up with the lights on. And again, this is a little bit of acrylic paint just for the snow. And really, you can just keep adding as much detail as you want. I've had so much fun creating these. So... Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that inspires you and it's something a little bit different. It's just another way of using our fabulous Lavinia stamps. You take care, everybody. Any questions, just message me um, or just add it on the question here and I'll be more than happy to answer. You take care, everybody. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.